Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this Tapo Smart Contact Sensor for your window door safeguard. Works with Tapo devices. The model Tapo T110. Tapo hub required. There is the hub. You can connect the motion sensor, button, switches and transform your home on a smart home. Transform any light on a smart bulb and control from this hub with other accessories. And together with this smart plug I have made a video, you can check down below the description after the end of this video. Set your smart contact sensor to trigger on the light when you open your door or place the contact sensor elsewhere like your cabinets, drawers, refrigerator, on your pet's door or on your safe and you will receive instant alerts on your phone when open it or close it. Then the hub can sound the siren to warn you. And all that settings you can adjust to your needs from the Tapo app download from Google Play Store or App Store. Let's open the box and find out more about this product and how we can use it. Manual. If you want to do it, it's your choice, but stay with me, we're going to find out all about this product. We have the magnet, sticker for the magnet, double tape adhesive, the sensor, the LED light and the magnet alignment at the front. Nice. And the sticker, of course, it goes here one at this side and one at this side here and here to activate you need to pull that inside it has a CR2032 battery LED is blinking the battery it can last more than two years TAPO up I have some other devices from TAPO for all these devices you can check down below the description very interesting devices new devices from TP-Link a device, sensors, TAPO T110, connect to a smart hub, LED is blinking, contact sensor, you can rename the device, next, living room, next. A fine contact sensor from the TAPO skill. To set up a routine triggered by contact sensor, go to the device detail page in the Alexa app. Great Alexa, choose an icon, next. Almost done. Check firmware. Placement guide. Perfect. And done. Contact sensor. There it is. Settings. Again, you can choose the icon, rename the device, the location, notification on, always. You can choose during the day, during the night, as a custom time. And you can choose the days of the week, the hour from two. Always. User manual, placement guide, device info and firmware update. And here we have and the logs. Close, open, notification, contact sensor, open, insert notification. And the same the LED is turning on. Close it. Open. I like instant notification, instant response. So what you can do with this sensor? Well, that is a good question and we're going to find out together. Let's go back. Smart. Automation. Shortcuts. Routine. Action. We need automation. I have some automations here from other devices. Disable it right now. Add automation. Add trigger. Trigger device. Contact sensor. When open, let's say. OK. Done. Then. Trigger one of my devices. Now let's say one of these two lights, the drive light. You can choose on or off, on and off, set lighting. You can adjust the brightness, on direction, choose the minute and the second, how long it will stay on, brightness say increasing, decreasing. For now, let's choose on and done. Next. Contact light. I have created an automation. There it is. Let's choose another automation. When trigger device, contact sensor close. It can control 
the color bulb and switch it on. And of course you can choose off, on, off, set lighting. Let's set lighting to blue. You can choose on direction, brightness increasing decreasing, color temperature increasing decreasing or random color. Done. Next, contact for color. Done. Contact sensor. So if I'm going to close, it will turn on the light or if I'm going to open, it will turn on the other light and instant we have notification. Now let's do another automation. Instant notification, you can view all the logs by day, choose which day you want. Smart again, add automation, trigger, trigger device, contact sensor, keep open for more than one minute you can choose, close, done, add action, control tab of devices, the color bulb maybe, off, done, again, then you can add action, tapo, drive light, off, next, contact off lights. Done. There it is. And switch it off the lights. <laughs> I like automation. You can do so many things. Or you can use these multiple sockets. And when the contact sensor open or close, it will turn on or off one of the device connected at these sockets. So many ways to use automation. But now I will use the hub as an alarm and on the top of up again smart disable this automation create a new automation add trigger trigger device contact sensor when open let's say if you have installed that at your main door window back door wherever you want or on your safe on your refrigerator or your pet door it is your choice done action Control tap of device, smart hub, become silent or ring. Sound settings, you can choose one of the sounds. Okay. Okay, that is good. You can adjust the volume. Sound direction, you can choose from 5 seconds to 10 minutes and custom. For now, let's say 5 seconds. For the video only, done, next, done. And when I'm going to open the contact sensor, we have alarm, notification to my smartphone, someone opens the door, the window, wherever I have installed this contact sensor. You can use the contact sensor for a security alarm at your home. You can buy more than one, install to any door or window, and that's how you will have the latest smart security alarm at your home. So many combinations with products from Chapo. I like it. Thumbs up. So stay tuned. More products are coming. You can check all these products that I made a video down below in the description. I'm sure you will find something interesting and just buy it. I like automation, for sure. Until my next video, my viewers, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and share this video. You never know who may need it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.